Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Unity C Sharp scripting. My name is Raja and in this video we're gonna learn about the awake function. In the last video we have learned about these two start and update functions. So let's learn about awake functions. So this awake function also gets called automatically whenever uh, you run, you create a new script. So create awake function like this, void awake and then write parentheses and make sure to give the a capital the first letter capital so the start function gets called and the awake function also gets called only once in the lifetime of a script so start and awake both gets called only once in a lifetime but the awake function gets called before start and the start function gets called after awake so in order to test that let's go and write debug log for it inside start and the way we write inside awake what we'll see when you run this code is that this awake function gets called first and then this start function gets called by default by unity so if I go and run this right now as you can see first of all it prints inside awake and then it prints inside start and both of them are getting called only once in the lifetime so why do we need awake the fundamental difference between awake and start is that awake gets called even if the script is not enabled from the inspector okay by not enabled I mean that the script is not enabled like this when you see a check mark here that means the script is enabled that means the script is working and whenever uh, you just remove this check mark and this is blank that means the script is not activated and it is not working as a part of this but a wake function gets called even if the script is not activated but the start function gets called only if the script is activated so let's go and test that right now the script is not activated and let's go and run it as you can see it tells inside awake so the awake function gets called before start even if the script is not activated and if I activate it right now now you will see that both of them actually gets called right now like this so why do why do you use awake function you need to use awake function mostly for initialization or uh, mostly you need to do awake for those things which you want to do before the game gets started so whenever you want to do something that you want to do before the game gets started you just do it in the awake function and whenever you want to do something only when the game gets started and the script gets enabled you put that inside the start function so this is the basic difference of awake and start function I hope you will, you will use both of these things uh, whenever you need them because both of them has their own advantages so this is it for this video I hope you guys learned about the awake and start function so thank you very much for watching and have a great day see you in the next video thanks